Welcome back. The perception study, efficiency and impact of regulatory activities of standard organizations of Nigeria's and SME's report listed additional difficulties such as the cost of accessing adequate technology, the lack of facilities for research and development, the decline in demand for locally produced products and the increase in demand for imported goods. I am now being joined by the national president of the Association of Micro Entrepreneurs of Nigeria, Amen. Prince Savior H.A. Many thanks for joining me, Prince. I can hear you, sir. I can hear you. All right, uh, let's just uh, begin uh, this way from the reports uh, that uh, we uh, just uh, read out that was released uh, not too long ago. Now, the study emphasizes that approximately 80% of SMEs face significant challenges like unfavorable and risky economic climate influenced by various uh, variables. Can you share some of these challenges with us? Um, thank you for having me. Um, the challenges that SMEs are having are so enormous, so big that, um, firstly, the policies, government policies. SMEs are facing a lot of uh, uh, government uh, uh, policies because the government, Nigeria government, have neglected the SMEs. Starting from a power, most Nigerian entrepreneurs we source the power by ourselves. You know, okay, now for instance, most entrepreneurs, the reason that, that most entrepreneurs are not making headway is because the little money we have, we are we, we are using that money to buy this zone, and the, you know the cost of this zone now. Most times in my own factory, for instance, before I consumed this or five thousand this zone, before that was in 2015. Right now, as we speak, I consume this or 25,000 every day. That 25,000, if you times it, that 25,000 every day in 26 working days, we are getting almost 3 million naira. So, the, another, another challenge that we are facing is the issue of, of, uh, of finance. Governments are not there because all this. Uh, all these billions of, of naira the government are claiming they are giving to SMEs is only ends on the place of newspaper and on television. Because what is being happened that's in other countries, the banks are not there to help us, even, even the microfinance bank. So we have a lot of challenges. That is why we have a number, of us uncounted number of unemployment. Because the SMEs are the highest employer of labor. So the policies the government are, that are bringing, and again, most ministers of uh, most minister of, of, of uh, trade and investment, most of them doesn't have any idea of business. Imagine when you are bringing a, a, as, uh, an engineer to run a sensitive uh, post as business as economy. So. We need someone that, that knows the pain that SMEs are having. The SMEs in Nigeria, I want to, to tell you that about 48% of SMEs in Nigeria have died naturally. And the few ones are in common, as I as always said. All right, Prince. Uh, uh, the report also identified issues uh, uh, concerning multiple taxations uh, as being burdens for small businesses across the country. You are a businessman, you are a manufacturer in a small scale and all of that. Can you share some of these factors uh, that are uh, placed on um, small businesses, specifically your business? Okay, now the issue of tax. The, the area I, I, you know, I stay is in Lagos. There is a lot of taxes. They will come with, in fact, with uncountless, you know, that's uh, uh, um, Stories. My workers pay a tax. I have to pay my, 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 my workers tax. I have to pay income tax. In fact, the, 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 the tax, you know, that's, they are numerous. They, that's, that's the uncountable. All right? The uncountable. The tax we are talking about, the, the, we are paying tax in everything we, we do. Even the water we use, we are paying tax on our needs. You know, and the government are not just, they are not there to help us. Imagine when you are asking a micro entrepreneur that we are that we, we 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 provide everything by ourselves, 
and you're asking us to pay income tax, how much is the income? The income that, that, we, that we have used in buying diesel, in buying fuel. So it's, in fact, it is hard time for government to know the pain that SMEs are, 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 are going through. All right. Uh, let's look at um, another issue right now, which would be uh, technology. Because most times uh, it is said that technology and research and development also help in um, building or making um, businesses grow. But uh, people tend to say that uh, in Nigeria, it is really very expensive accessing adequate technology. How has, how has the cost of um, technology affected your business? Well, the issue of technology, you know, because a, a small business, you know, we're talking of a, a business that's, you know, the, the capital base is not up to 500,000 naira. Most of us, you know, that doesn't have issue of technology, all right? Most of us, most of our, our, our people that's in a, a small level, we, we, we don't have issue of technology. It's, it's only for uh, um, multinational companies. But when we talk of the technology, that's most of us, most of the, the entrepreneurs, that's most time that we need to, many of us are upgrading by ourselves, you know, that's getting the, the, the information by ourselves. Thank God, thank God for the issue of, uh, of uh, social media. We can Google anything that, that, that we want to know, all right, that we want to know. We can even go online and Google it. But most times we expect the government to take some of our the, the local manufacturers, probably something like to, to China or in, 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 in some, some uh, uh, African countries. Where things are working well for us to, you know, that's to to get more exposure, right? That to help our business, but they don't do that. I was going to, I was going to come to that because uh, that's also another issue that was raised: uh, issue of um, formal education or technical competency, as in trainings and all of that. You know, there are actually issues that affect them, small business owners, and of course their own staff. There's an association that um, you um, preside over, which is the Association of um, Micro Enterprises of Nigeria, Amen. How has your association helped in that light to ensure that your members are actually carried along uh, as far as development and um, new inroads that affect their businesses? Yeah, um, time to time, you know, we educate our members. Perhaps we have, uh, um, we have uh, clusters. Most times, um, members that are in a, a, a particular kind of business, you know, we give them that's most times they have their, their, their seminars, they uh, uh, brainstorm on it, you know, with, with each other's ideas. You know, some of them that's after we do it by ourselves. Let, let, let me just say this this medium small business scale of Nigeria, most times they call us for training. Let me just probably many people don't know. And the amount they are charging entrepreneur for them to, to be part of that training. Some of us don't have the money. Mm. So on our own, we develop our others within ourselves. We share experiences time to time, right? For us in order to upgrade. But uh, the, the small and medium enterprise developers on Nigeria's media, most of their training, you see SM is in, in, uh, uh, attending. It is with monetary gain, they don't do it free of charge. That is why so many entrepreneurs cannot be able to have such amount of money for them to, to go for such, for such training. Mm -hmm. So to us, we, we develop within ourselves, we return our, our members mm -hmm. for them to be, upgrade, to, to be upgraded. All right, uh, Prince Iche, when I started this show, I also mentioned one of the issues that affect uh, a small business or why some of them die is the issue of... Um, patronage of locally made goods in Nigeria. Uh, a report once said that um, Nigerians don't actually appreciate uh, what is produced uh, locally. They'd rather want to get the ones that are produced uh, from abroad. You have been in this business for quite some time. You know, what can be done better in terms of uh, packaging or what we can see so that Nigerians can begin to appreciate made in Nigeria product as against the uh, getting imported ones? 
Um, thank you very much. On, on, on this note, I want to say this year that Nigerians are beginning to embrace our local products. Okay. Yes. 68%. Because in Nigeria products, if you buy a Nigeria product, you will see the phone number there. If the product is not good, you know where to report. But most foreign products, go after this program, go and pick one or two products that is made from China or, or India. Their numbers are not going. So this time around, Nigerians are beginning to embrace their own product because they know that the efficacy of those products. Thank God for, for now that they are regulating the, 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 the industry. Probably is but now as I speak, 68% of Nigerians are now acquaintance with our products. They are happy using it and it is working. Coming to the issue of packaging, nobody who don't want good things, good things come with money. So because of the little money we can be able to source for our ourselves. The package you see is what we can be able to afford. All right? All right. So, okay. Yes. Okay. So, so uh, if the government is serious, they want our packaging to be okay, as is as is being done in other countries, mm. we know what is good, but we have to manage the, the, letter, the letter resource we have. All right. Okay, fine. As we round off now in 30 seconds now, what more can be done? Because you mentioned the issue of capital and funding. How can governments make capital more accessible for small businesses? Very quickly, please. I've said it time to now, number. We have an association, uh, five names and, uh, and the identify association of Nigeria, uh, in Nigeria. Mm. The government should give more money to these associations. We know our members. We know how much they need. Some members, what they needed is only 100,000 naira. Give that 100,000 naira in the next six months. Mm. You ask that, you, you see that that 600,000 naira have made a lot of impact. So the government should send the money to the, to, to the associations. Right. So we can be able to know, you know, how much each of our members need. But this one they are doing online. Most of online uh, 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 loan or grants is only on pages on newspaper. All right. As I will drop with this, as we have, uh, as, as we have ghost workers, likewise we have ghost entrepreneurs. It's only ghost entrepreneurs mm -hmm. are making use of, of those money. All right, thank you so much. I, I have been speaking with Prince uh, Savior Eche, the national president of the Association of Micro Entrepreneurs of Nigeria. Uh, many thanks for sharing all of these challenges and, of course, uh, the way forward for small businesses in Nigeria. We do appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, uh, that's the size of the show for today. I am Justin Akadunye, but just before I go, I'll leave you with this report on the standard of um, uh, enterprise report uh, for last year. We'll see you again, same time tomorrow. Bye for now. 10 plus law firm. The maiden edition of the State of Enterprise Report 2022 brought together experts from the financial and professional services sector, FBS. The SAE report, a first of its kind, an annual industry publication, gives insight into Nigeria's FBS sector. The leader in his keynote address, a professor of economic policy at the University of Oxford, Stefan Deccan, stated that the financial and professional services industry is instrumental to driving any nation's economy. He noted that a Nigeria that thrives and is more stable with better economic policy will cause all businesses to flourish. When you look at any country in the world, badly run or well run, relatively speaking, you know, it can be a few thousand, can be a few hundred, can be a few dozen, group of people with power or influence that determine the direction of politics and the economics in a country. Stakeholders say that if there is prosperity and no poverty, there would be peace. For them, the FBS industry is instrumental in driving the prosperity and economic development of Nigeria. We will ensure that together, in our practice as professional firms, we give Nigeria the very best that it deserves. And we will also ensure that the private sector under this umbrella comes together as a partner with other sectors for growth and development of our, of our nation. There's clearly a need to change the narrative about Nigeria. And 
we can't leave it alone to the uh, public sector. The private sector also needs to take the initiative and given the very critical role that the financial and professional services sector plays in economic development, as we have seen in other parts of the world, this is why the Enterprise NGR was established. It's about realizing that there's a bigger goal for all of us and therefore engaging. And, you know, engagements have taken place historically in different forms. We think this kind of platform, where there's hopefully a collective voice, a sort of unified voice, can also have maybe a bigger impact. Managing Director of a Merchant Bank, Banjo Adegbohungbe, emphasizes the need for strong partnership between the business community and those with political powers. And we see the financial and professional services as a catalyst for economic development and growth. And the focus here is to provide a platform that can ensure that the financial and professional services sector in Nigeria can rank with that anywhere in the world and can also provide that catalyst and provide that platform to generate development and growth across all sectors of the economy. Just like other participants, Banjo holds that if all chronicled in the report are adhered to, everyone stands to benefit from the ripple effects of economic development. It's a seven